Welcome back, folks. Going to be doing a bit of a special task today. We're going to try cover up this scuff here. Now, these scuffs are scuffs are pretty common on the toe. It's where everyone's trouble spot is, and uh, we're just going to try to hide it. It's deep into the leather, so it's something that's always going to be there but we can make it better. We can make it look a lot better. Let's start off. We're gonna, we're gonna actually clean these up pretty well with uh, uh, this Germex here. Let's get to it. Hope y'all are doing well. I think that's the first thing we should do is Clean them up. stuff is stuck on here pretty good. Sometimes you gotta use a little scraping tool. I use this. The tailors here at Satel's use it quite a bit. Just gotta be gentle. You don't want to damage the item. Shoot. What have you. That did it. Putting like maybe a pea size amount on there. Not a whole lot. Being careful not to touch the leather. We're not trying to strip the leather at all, so we don't want to use any kind of alcohol on it. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but you want to try to avoid it. I think I'll do both pair just to show you how I go back and forth show you the whole process in real time with no cuts a bit of leather lotion by Cadillac, a little dauber brush, 100% horsehair on these little dauber brushes. That helps to clean up the shoe. It's 
It's abrasive enough to break up dirt, but gentle enough to not scratch the leather. about the amount that you want, about a piece size, not a whole lot. We do want to focus on that area, on that scuff. by no means going to be perfect looking, but it will look better. I think our scuffs and our scars on our leather shoes and, and our leather items kind of tell a story too, you know? Maybe it reminds you of something you did or something you need to do. Memories. Both good and bad. So I'm kind of focusing on it using the Pure Polish Walnut Cream and stuff here. It's going to hydrate the leather, it's going to help correct the color. I'm going to fill in some of those cavities that the scuff is leaving. And the rest of the shoe. We don't want to put too too much on. For that scuff, be generous. sit there come back to this other one we'll do this other one and by the time we're done doing this shoe this one will be ready to brush out I'm using circles and straight lines, circles and straight lines to apply. If this is your first video that you're seeing of mine, go back and watch the others. I go into a little bit more detail why I use my hands and why I use different products and stuff. process. It's really lightly brush. We don't want to scrub the material that we put in out. We want to work it around. So we go in different directions. Horizontally, vertically, all the way around. Kind of turn the shoe with the brush. Turn the brush. Yeah, I'm kind of maneuvering the, the shoe in my hand, moving it around. Good 
just with that one. You can see it, but it's certainly not as prominent as it was. We can maybe put a little bit more on the toe itself. Just a tiny bit. Kind of medium to firm pressure into it. Brush it out a bit. Brush it in, I should say. take a rag back and if we've discolored this front part we can try to wipe it all and wipe it away and it looks okay you could tape this off if you wanted to if you wanted to take that time it's not necessary so that you, you could do if you if you wish. All right, let's brush this one out. You could let this sit for 10, 15 minutes if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. You still get a great result even if you immediately brush it. So if we hold them up next to each other, it's a lot better. Like I said, not perfect, but a lot better. Let's put a little bit of polish. This is Lincoln Stain Wax that I'm using, a brown, just a regular brown. Has enough red in it, I think, that will we'll match nicely on this color. We're doing this step to protect the leather. Adds a bit of color, but mostly to protect. Extra careful not to get this on the white soles. In between his laces. Avoiding these um, fabric parts. Again, it looks even better. Now there's a bit more of a sheen, and when you have scuffs like this, 
it's good to add polish to add a bit of a sheen to it so it distracts your eyes. Most people will see the, the polish, the shininess, and not even notice the scuff there. You'll notice it because you've been looking at it for a while, but a stranger will come up to you and give you a compliment on how shiny your shoes are, how clean and nice they look. Do to one shoe, we do to the other. We try, try to balance them out, you know. Of course, if one has the scuff and one has the other, you don't treat it the same. Obviously. Real light pressure when we brush. Really light. And voila, not a whole lot of effort, not a whole lot of products, but a great result. You wanted to, got a little bit of overkill on the edges here. Just kind of wipe it up a bit and take it down. That's better. Did the backs as well. Could do the bottoms if you wanted to, not necessary. All right, I hope this helps you. Um, leave any questions you have in the comments. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. Have a great day, thanks.